Today, we are going to talk about setting the speed control on a Vesuvius Vantage Mod Spreader. The first thing to do is make sure that you have your power cable plugged in to the D-plug on the trap here. It's also important to make sure you have the correct hoses and the correct spool. Two for the pushing ram, two for the slurry door, and obviously your brake pipe connected to the brake coupling on the tractor. The Vesuvius Vantage uses a four-stage hydraulic double-acting ram. The first stage, the biggest stage, will fully extend and there is no control on the machine for the speed of that stage. The only control you have is by regulating the flow of oil coming from the tractor. We'll now move around the front, where you will see three flow control valves. Each of these flow control valves has a number underneath it, number two, three, and four. Each of those numbers represent the stages on the ram after the biggest stage. So for example, number two is the second biggest stage, number three is the third biggest stage, and number four is the fourth biggest stage or the smallest stage of the ram. As I've already mentioned, stage one will fully extend before any material is actually spread out the back. We want this stage to go as fast as possible, but you can regulate the speed of this stage by reducing the oil flow from the tractor. As soon as we move on to stage number two, this little lever will drop, and you will see two solenoid valves light up. The solenoid valve on the off side will remain lit throughout the processes during stages two, three, and four. It is extremely important that we always have two lights lit lit during this process of stages two, three, and four. But however, the lights will change as it changes between stages. To adjust the speed of stage number two, we simply use the flow control on the front, anti-clockwise, Will increase the speed or clockwise will reduce the speed of the ram. As you can clearly see, we can stop the ram from physically pushing out or we can open the flow control right up and you will see the speed of the ram stages start to increase. As we move on to stages three, once again the lever will drop. We will have two red lights on see now the middle red light is on along with the offside red light and we can adjust the speed of this stage by simply screw opening up the flow control valve which will increase the speed of the ram. We will now repeat the process again for the final stage or the fourth stage also known as the smallest stage. It's quite simply, adjusting the flow control, we can increase the speed, which will clearly see the ramble increase the speed, or we can reduce the speed. The fourth light will now light up up at the top line on its own, and you'll see the one furthest away will still remain lit up. Once the ramp is fully extended, we can now bring the door right back to its normal position. It's important you do this before filling the machine again with the new. 